Welcome back, everyone. Friday night football will actually feel a little more like football tonight. A little chilly in the stands, but just as hot on the field. News 10 ABC's Josh Rolenberg is at Troy tonight as the Flying Horses look to take down the defending state champion Queensbury Spartans. But let's start with Josh Sims out at our first and 10 game of the week in Water Elite. Josh, getting kind of exciting there, huh? Well, that's right, Liana, and if this game is anything like last year's game, we're in for a treat. That game last year at Voorheesville with the Cannoneers taking that one 39-36 to in that one. Now, we caught up with both these teams earlier this week, and here's what they had to say about that game. They remember that it was an intense, fast-paced, and high-scoring game, and that type of game will play into the hands of the Blackbirds today. The QB running back tandem of Robert Denman and Matt Feller are as potent as any in Class C. Those two Spark the offense for the Blackbirds and are looking for another high scoring game just like last year. Now, the Cannoneers, on the other hand, their game plan centralized around stopping those two. I think we need to tackle. Uh, you know, on first contact, we got to put the ball carrier to the ground. We can't let him get his shoulders turned and running downfield for extra yardage. Uh, we like to put some pressure on the quarterback and, and get him moving in the pocket so he's not so comfortable. We have to figure out what they're trying to take away. Um, their offense, I would say, you know, for what they may lack in experience, they always execute very well. Now, one of the coolest features at any Cannoneer football game is this. It's the cannon. And after every touchdown, they fire this thing off just like this. And of course, the Cannoneers are hoping to score plenty of touchdowns so they can fire that bad boy off plenty of times. 